Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the higher. Everybody, praise the higher. One more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Isaiah the Christ, Isaiah the Messiah, Isaiah of Nazareth. Um, if you want to know why I call God higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Isaiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is a name given to Jacob. Jacob's name <coughs> was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the diaspora. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yeshua the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King, hallelujah, is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yeshua the Christ. All right, you can skip this bit and find the main message, but I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid grey border with a tick by the side of my name. Anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked demon. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of a higher glory be to the most. If I don't say the sinner's prayer, please check the description box or the pin. <coughs> Sorry, comment section. All right. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for going in the comment sections and communicating with brothers and sisters. Absolutely appreciate it. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed to the channel. May this channel be the home of the prophetic for you so that we can all learn together as one so that we will be in the know-how and we not we will not be in deception hallelujah thank you for those beautiful beloveds in the most that higher hallelujah who have blessed me through paypal and also on this platform by hitting the thanks button thank you so 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 very 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 much from the bottom the depths of my heart for um your love offering towards me i appreciate it brothers and sisters honestly i really really do all right um also i have a little project in the form of gofundme um you read the description box of the pin comment section if you feel led to bless then do so if you don't feel led that's absolutely fine because you've got to be led by the holy spirit to give anyways all right you have to be led if it's not of the holy spirit don't do it has to be led by the Spirit of the Most High. So if you feel led to bless me um, through the project that I have through GoFund, please do so. If not, everything is all right. I still love you just the same. Hallelujah. All right. We are near, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, Messiah the Christ. Hallelujah. But we are also near to the revealing of the lawless one, the dirty Antichrist. Daniel 7 verse 25 will be fulfilled. No if, but, or maybe. It's a scripture that is literally going to be fulfilled in our eyes. Lawlessness is coming. Satan through the Antichrist will say, seek to change times, laws, and seasons. It will be given to him, in, to him and this world will become lawless. Satan will rule the wor this world for a short period of time. There will be no Holy Spirit, no higher the Father, no Messiah the Son. Make sure your anchor holds in Christ. Make sure that you are found worthy to escape. I believe the worthiness Messiah is talking about is the woman in Revelation 12. The woman in Revelation 12 flees into the wilderness. She runs away representing the great worldwide second exodus out of babylon for highest people the woman also have 12 stars on her head representing the 12 sea the 12 sons of jacob that went through the transatlantic slavery in the 1600 ahaya is going to regather that nation that nation the hebrew israelite nation that's been hurt harmed dispersed scattered throughout the four corners of the earth ahaya is going to regather many people say sister carrie and the regathering has happened god has already sent back his people down in israel it's not them brothers and sisters they say god went into europe in 1948 told the europeans to go back to their homeland israel for starters and i always say this look the europeans are from the caucasus mountain that is why they're called caucasian if you don't believe me go and ask vladimir putin he will tell you the truth about what is going on they're from the caucasus mountain even vladimir putin himself right his ancestors they're from the caucasus mountain that's why they're called caucasian and they're not originally from Israel, which is Africa, that is not true. So you have to understand history and know history and know what 
is around the corner. The second exodus of the Hebrew Yeshahelites that went through the transatlantic slavery. The most is going to regather um, his people out of Babylon. Every single Babylonian country where his people are, he's going to regather. All right. So after the second exodus, then the sixth seal opens up. That is Yesiah coming in the clouds of glory with power, strength, and majesty to pay every man according to their reward. You want to make sure that you're on the right side of history so that when Yesiah comes to collect his people from the four corners of the earth, you're in that number. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Glory be. Prophetic theme song, we are near. Just like the prophetic banner, we are near. And the prophetic theme song goes like this. How now you are, oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now, oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now, hallelujah, yes, we are near and we can sing that song with Right, confidence. So our brothers and sisters have two ministries, one for the end time prophetic ministries and one for the Hebrew Yashaelites. Oh. Hallelujah, hallelujah, our brothers and sisters. Um I wanna jump on here and continue to talk about um the coming the, the, the three days and nights of coming darkness, which some people unfortunately still don't believe and they just don't believe that it is real. It is going to happen. They say it's a Catholic prophecy. That's what they say. It's a Catholic prophecy. The Bible is very clear. Ahia says that he's going to bring back the plagues of Egypt. And also the plagues that is not written in the book. That is not written in the Bible. So we have to take these prophecies, especially the three days and nights of darkness, very, 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 very seriously. Because like I say. It is a very serious judgment. It is a plague. And it's a very, very serious judgment where lives will be lost. Not can. Not can be lost, but lives will be lost. <laughs> Father, open the eyes of your people. It's going to be a bitter day. The ending of the three days of darkness, brothers and sisters, is going to be a bitter day. Literally bitter day. It's going to be horrible. People are going to panic and say, what has just happened? How did this happen? This is judgment upon the earth. Because people have forgotten the most time. But I want to do this video um, highlighting. You know, some brothers and sisters knows already. But um, you can also put in the comment section if you feel like, Sister Karen, this is part of, um, this is part of the sign of the coming three days and nights of darkness. So this is just the signs before the coming darkness. People are asking me in the comment section. Sister Karen what date is the darkness coming? <laughs> what date? I don't know. I have no idea the date. It's not for us to know the times and seasons. But it's for us to know. Um, it's, but it's for us to be watchful. Because whether you know whether they you know the times and season or not, the thing is going to happen. So it is for us to be absolutely, absolutely watchful, brothers and sisters, of what is to come. All right, of what is to come. Watchful, or is it gone? Watchful of what is to come. So I just want to quickly um, run through some signs before the three days of darkness. Now. You know, you might be saying, oh, Sister Karen, you know, you're, you're talking about the three days of darkness a lot. I have to, because I had the vision. Ahaya gave me the vision where he took me all the way back to Moses. Not me alone, but other YouTubers who talk about the three days and nights of darkness. And he warned us and he said, go back. When you go back into this dispensation, which is 2024, warn them. <laughs> warn them. About the coming three days of darkness. I've been warning since 2018. I really have. I have been warning. But I think for me, you know, when I talk about the three days of darkness, it's mostly around, you know, coming up to pagan Eastern Christmas time. That is when I go really hard. But something has shifted. So now I'm in June and I'm talking about the three days and nights of darkness. Because it's something that is going to happen. And the most I gave me the instruction and say, warn them.
So that is what I'm doing. I'm warning brothers and sisters of the coming three days and nights of darkness. I know some of you are saying, oh, well, me pastor, me pastor, don't preach about it. You don't talk about it. Well, that's up to you and your pastor, isn't it? I mean, you can ask him to talk about it and see what he thinks. He's probably going to say that um, it's not real. <laughs> and then you're going to believe because you're going to say, well, he's a pastor. He hears from the most high. So because he's a pastor and he's closer to a higher than me, then he says, no three days of darkness, then I believe the pastor. But woe unto you, foolish sheep. The Bible says, woe unto you. Because you'll be put your pastor over the word of Ahia. And you put your pastor over the word of the prophets and prophetesses. And it's the same thing that was going on in, in Jeremiah's time. You have fake prophets. And you have Jeremiah who was a true prophet. And whenever Jeremiah warned Israel, Yeshua said, look, don't do this, don't do that. You have the fake Israelite prophets pops up and said, oh, you know we are loved by the most high and he's not gonna do it and jeremiah said well if you don't turn from your evil ways it is going to happen judgment is coming to you and they just didn't believe him so they throw jeremiah into a dungeon right so so one of the things that we talk about concerning the signs of the coming three days and nights of darkness that this is before the, the actual day happens um i talk about this already and i talk about it in great detail and i'm just gonna simple skim over it we talk about the northern lights <coughs> so brothers and sisters we talk about um the northern lights and um what we say with the northern lights i've talked about that the frequency of the northern light is increasing and the intensity so, which means that, you know, parts of the world that never, ever, ever, ever seen the Northern Lights before, it is coming to our neck of the woods. Because we're very, very close. So, one of the great signs uh, preceding the three days and nights of darkness, one of the signs preceding the three days and nights of darkness is the Northern Lights everywhere. At the same time, all over the world. Now you might say, oh, well, Sister Karen, you know, the northern lights most will come at night time. Well, in this case, because it's a sign, it doesn't matter. So it's going to be seen in the night, daytime, morning time, noon time, dusk up time. It doesn't matter. But it's going to be seen at the same time. Not northern lights in america in babylon us and then there's no northern lights in babylon uk no 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 every single country i want you to listen to me every single country on planet earth country island everybody every single country and and an island on planet earth will see the northern lights at the same time it is going to be a phenomenon and everybody's going to talk about it they're going to talk about it for days to come and what they're going to talk about as well is this black hole yes i know they're going they know they're talking about black hole already i know that but this black hole that they're going to see after the northern lights is going to be phenomenon and they're going to say, oh, it's because of the northern lights where this, we, we are seeing this black hole. Remember that black hole, they're going to talk about it after everywhere in the whole entire world see the northern lights at the same time. So that is the cue. So don't be saying to me, oh, Sister Karen, you know, all over Babylon, UK saw the northern lights. Everywhere in the UK had the northern lights, but then you go to Japan and there's no northern lights. Or you go to the Caribbean and there's no, that's not it. That is not it. It's leading to it, but it's not it. So like I say, and I know I'm repeating myself, the northern lights precede the three days of darkness when the whole entire world sees the northern lights at the same time. Morning, noon, and night at the same time. At the same time, prepare yourself for the three days and nights of darkness. Because it's coming. Oh, soon after, I don't know. But it's, it's coming. I cannot lie. I never lies. 
cannot lie, never lies. Bible said there, there shall be signs in the heavens, brothers and sisters, preceding the coming of the Most High. I'm telling you. Now, apart from the northern lights, there are a few bits and pieces that's going to happen as well. And um, one of the things that's on the menu, I said menu, one of the things that's, you know, the Lord is pointing our attention to, and I don't know if people paid much attention to the cicadas, the basically locusts, where they're a type of locust. You know, the wicked said, oh, it's not locust, it's not locust, but it's eating all the crops and everything like that. Cicadas, um, a type of locust over there in Babylon, U.S., they said that it's going to come in May, and I think it's already started. Um, but these locusts, you have to pay attention. And what you've got to understand, brothers and sisters, with the plagues and stuff like that, it just, it really, really depends. The plagues, some of, you know, um, I believe that the plagues are going to be showing up mostly. All right. Especially those that precede the three days of darkness. Um, that, that the plays are going to be shown up mostly in Babylonian countries. Mostly in Babylonian countries, really and truly. Um, so over there in Babylon, US, you've got the cicada business that's going on. Now, over here in Babylon, UK. All right. Over here in Babylon, UK. Um... They have this thing that's threatening us. It's the beetle. It's, it's, it's three beetles. And what these beetle does, it eats um, the trees, eat the barks of the tree, brothers and sisters, like woodpecker. It's a type of loc it's a type of plague, it's a type of um well it's not really locust locust so to speak but it's in that you know that family that, that eating of grass and trees and stuff like that so these are the signs in front of everybody brothers and sisters you know they're saying that dangerous beetle sparks lockdown this is Babylon UK so bear in mind over there in Babylon US you got the cicadas the type of locusts and over here in Babylon UK I don't know if it's coming yet but it is coming right they have this um, beetle so dangerous beetle sparks lockdown all 16 UK areas told to remain vi vi vigilant right um, the eight toothed spur bark beetles eight they got teeth. <laughs> oh, God. So these stuff, are, oh, Father, help the people. So, <laughs> so they're saying that the eight tooth, Ted, eight toothed beetle, beetle um, is a serious tree pest and could cause significant damage to some business as forest industry workers are told to remain vigilant. So if they can buy trees and tree barks are tough, what do you think about human beings? Brothers and sisters, we have to wake up. These are all plagues. I'm telling you, this beetle business that's going on over here in the UK, those cicada business over there in Babylon, US, people have to really wake up and pay attention. It says that large parts of the UK are set. So this was written on the night on the 5th of June. What I'm reading is from the 5th of June 2024. 5th of June 2024 is when this thing comes out. This this little article business. That's when they, the wicked wrote it and put it out, right? So large parts of the UK are set to be quarantined over the spread of what a dangerous bug that could seriously threaten the country's forest and timer industry. So these people, forest people, have issued a warning in attempt to prevent potential um, spread of, of, I don't even know what this, Ips, Tychophagos, better known as the eight-toothed spur bark beetle. An extension of the current demarcation area announced after the tree pest was found on Norway. That's over there, some over there, over here in Babylon, Europe. The beetle 
found on trees in Europe was first identified in the UK in, the 2000, in 2018. So what's happening just like the cicadas over there in Babylon, US, because it's not the first time the cicadas have been coming. But this time, the difference is that they're coming in their trillions. That is the difference of these locusts in, in Babylon, US. And so these beetles over here in Babylon, UK, it's not the first time. But they're coming more dangerous. <laughs> Are you listening, church? They're coming back more dangerous now. Um, so, so they're doing what they can to stop the spread of these bee beetles. From Wednesday, oh, they give us a date. What date is it today? Um, what date is it today, brothers and sisters? I'm so sorry. Let me just have to, have to come off of this thing and go back on it. So today is Friday, June 7th. Watch this. Friday, June 7th, as I'm doing this video, right? So they're saying that these dangerous beetles, because it's dangerous, right? They're saying from Wednesday, June 12th, listen, a lockdown will come into force across extended, larger, democratic area in southeast of England and East Anglia to prevent potential spread of the pest <laughs> in line with eradication action taken. So these pests, uh, that's what they are, the plagues, brothers and sisters. There's no, there's no if, buts, or maybe, maybes. The cicadas, locusts, these beetle business, the plagues. Plagues are coming. So these are signs, these are all signs, brothers and sisters, before the coming day, three days and nights of darkness. So they're trying to eradicate the spread of these dangerous beetles before it takes over Babylon, UK. So how are they going to do that? I don't know if it's a lockdown, lockdown, or if it's a lockdown in the forest. I don't know what they're talking about. But either way, brothers and sisters, these pests are here. And they're coming. So... So that's so far that's two pests that we know of the cicadas the cica cicada the cicadas over there in Babylon US over here in Babylon UK the beetles and there's another one that's coming in the summer <laughs> we're not safe our brothers and sisters the only time you're safe is in the arm of the most high ah, yeah. all these things coming should bother you because you should be locked you already should be locked out, locked away in Psalms 91 is that serious Literally, we should be locked away in Psalms 91. But there's another pest coming. Brothers and sisters, another pest is coming. And it's the pest of what? Giant spiders. Mm. Whether these are man-made brothers or sis brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter. They're all pests. A higher, a higher will use the wicked to bring about judgment. That's, that's just the truth of the matter. So if these things are conjured up in labs and stuff like that, the most I will use it to bring about judgment. It's just that simple. That when people forget the most that there's no protection, right? So they're saying that giant parachuting flying spiders, mighty God of creation, back to the days of pharaohs. Not true. Back to the days of Egypt. That's why I took my spirit down there in, 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 in Babylon, um, Egypt. In the vision, I was with Moses in ancient time. When he was doing his thing to, you know, bring about the three days of darkness. It's all about the plagues coming back, brothers and sisters. I say that the plagues of Egypt will be coming back along with other plagues that's not written in the book. So other plagues that Ahaya has not even recorded in the Bible is going to come to this earth. This is serious. People have to wake up. Brothers and sisters, the three days and dance of darkness is real. It is coming. There are things that precede the three days of darkness before it comes. Watch this. So they're saying, so when was this wrong? <coughs> so this was written on June 6th, 2024. So they're saying that the spiders are called Joro. Jo Joro Jo spiders have already spread across several states. And the species ranges, um, and the species range is expected to what? To keep expanding to new ones 
including the Northwest. This is Babylon, U.S. they're talking about. You have to understand what Babylon, U.S., brothers and sisters. And I'm going to tell you something about Babylon, U.S., right? Babylon, U.S. was the worst of the worst of the worst when it comes to the slave trade business. They were just brutal. It is what it is. I said it, and I'm not, you know, apologizing because it is the truth. So because they were the most brutal <clears throat> in terms of the slave trade and how they treated our people, you will understand that when the plagues are going to come, it's going to be very, 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 very heavy on Babylon, Babylon, U.S., they're going to be hit harder with plagues more than anywhere else. Yes, Babylon UK is going to be hit hard as well. And, you know, the Arab nations, God, they're not safe. God, they're the hand in the slave trade business, right? So they ain't safe. And other wicked, dirty Babylonian countries are going to feel the hand of a higher. So when you see these plagues coming and it talks, I said, oh, plagues over there in Babylon US, it's because of the slave trade. There's no if, buts, or maybe. That's all it is. You have to understand the second exodus. You've got to understand Babel. You've got to understand who Jacob's children are. If you don't understand, then you won't understand these plagues. You probably just think, oh, well, you know, the world is wicked. The church is sleeping. You know, Jesus is sending the plague because of, you know, I'm righteous and people out there are wicked. It's not about, how can I put it? It's not so much about... These plagues that's coming, it's not so much about Christians or Christianity or the church who, you know, who is following Christ. It's not really about that. But these plagues, I want you to understand that the plagues that are coming, including the three days of darkness, is because of the slave trade. It is what it is. This is Bible. It really is. It's, it's literally because of the slavery business that's happening. The Ahaya is punishing the wicked for what, he, what they've done to his people. But because people have given their, given their hearts to the Most High, and you've got Christians all over the place, they will be okay because they know Ahaya. Hallelujah to the Lamb. This is, you know... They don't teach about these things in church. So when we talk about it, it's like, oh, you know, what is Sister Karen talking about? But that's what the plagues are for, brothers and sisters. It's literally for the Hebrew Yashahelite that went through the slave trade, um, the, the, the transatlantic slave trade. And also the nations that went down into Africa and enslaved people at the Cong in the Congos. You know, what they did to Congo, what they did to um, Zimbabwe, all these nations that had a hand in slave. Brothers and sisters, you know, don't believe that it's all swept underneath the carpet by the most high. That Ahaya is just going to say, oh, well, slavery happened. Tough luck. Deal with it. No, these nations will be punished. So these giant parachuting um what is it giant parachuting spider dangerous venomous spider right um they say that these gyro spider are expected to start showing up in new jersey and new york <laughs> this summer so new yorkers look out for your spider because they're coming these giant spiders are coming where is it gone sorry brothers and sisters um, they're spreading up from the southeastern U.S. where they have been proliferating. So there's a lot down there in southeastern U.S. I don't know. You know, it's really funny when when they talk up when they talk about Babylon U.S. and they'll say northeast, southeast, east coast. This I don't know what they're talking about. Literally, I want them to just say the name. Which country? Which part of the country is it? Is it New York? Is it California? Because when they go like South East or East West or not, I don't even know what they're talking about, brothers and sisters. So South, what they say, Southeastern US. I don't know. I don't know which part of US is that. Um, um, Southeastern US, where there have been many or plenty. Um, the creeper crawlers have been around in Georgia. For about a decade. So they're down there in Georgia. But now they're coming up to California. Um, to New York. Isn't it? Um, Psalm 
So they're here to stay, apparently. These creepy spiders are here to stay in the US as it spreads rapidly around the country. I wonder why. So it was more contained before. So that's, that's what I'm saying. These, these creatures, these pests, they're nothing new. They've always been around. It's just that people don't notice it. But they've always been there. Right, brothers and sisters? But because the times and the season is so wicked, a higher is allowing them to become pest. Pest upon the nations. Pest upon the wicked. So, these spiders are coming to New York, Babylon, New York. So, so that, um, that this spider is going to be able to inhabit most of eastern U.S., I don't know where that is. Eastern US. Um, and it shows that their comfort area. Sorry, this is gone. No, this thing is gone. Um, Eastern US. And it shows. Um, sorry, brothers and sisters. If, if it cuts out a little bit. And I didn't spin, finish speaking. I do apologize. Um, so we have four things upon us. So we have the northern lights. Which are going to be shown all over the world at the same time. When you see that prepare for the three days of darkness. Then you have the pest in the form of the, the, the cicadas. Over there in Babylon US. They call them, uh, well, the type of locusts. Over here in Babylon UK you have the beetles who are spreading. Which is a toothed beetle that is biting the trees. You know, they're going to spread all over the place. And then you've got the giant gyro flying spider coming this summer over there spreading rather over there in Babylon US especially in New York so people have got to wake up have to wake up you know it's about serving a higher in spirit and in truth and finding yourself in Christ that's that's all that that's all that one is I don't know what to say to brothers and sisters because that is all it is you have to find yourself in the Lord before it is too late, brothers and sisters. So, yeah, I wanted to come and talk about signs before the three days of coming darkness. All right. Um, so be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with a higher. Just like Enoch of the mindset of Job, all praises, all beautiful praises to the most that higher who lives above the heavens. Higher eternally bless you. I love you all. And I will see you soon someday in glory in Yesiah's holy name. Amen and amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, not unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Yesiah, our Savior.